What's up? This your boy CJ Goodfellow. I'm back. Been a long time since I dropped a video on YouTube. Super, super busy. You know, work, family, work, family. Same shit, but um, I actually found time today to drop a video. Um, I've been going live, you know, a lot in the Pacific Boxing Group, IOBTA. Hope I said that right. Um, so I'm starting to get the pace back up, running a little bit. Enjoy the video. Um, question today is, is Manny Pacquiao still the best pound for pound, well, the best welterweight in the world today? Um, after Saturday performance, um, didn't look like Pacquiao. He looked every bit of 37. Shit, you could say he looked 45 the way he was moving in there. And luckily, he wasn't in there with a live opponent or any live opponents that we were about to talk about. Um, he looked slow. Uh, his feet didn't look as fast. Um, but that straight left hand was still zinging. You know, you can still see some skill there. It just looked like he was flat. It looked like he had lost multiple steps. You know, people say he lost a step. I think he lost multiple steps. But the most important thing is he got the job done. And, you know, after a little layoff, you know, you think, you know, you think he will be a little bit flat at his age. And plus, you know, being a center there and stuff. But the first guy I want to talk about, will Keith Thurman beat him? Uh, a lot of people are sour on Keith Thurman. Um, said he had a lot of soft touches, but at the end of the day, um, when Keith was calling everybody out, nobody wanted to fight Keith. Um, he tried to fight Madonna's HBO debut, didn't work. Um, I think Keith um, would be Pacquiao. I think uh, I don't know if he knocked. I, I don't know if he knocks him out, but Keith is a versatile fighter that can get the job done. Um, Kell Brook, um, excellent fighter. If he can make 47 health, healthy, I think he does beat Earl Spence also. Um, if he fights like that, uh, he fought against Golovkin. But who says he's going to be comfortable to make 47? He doesn't even say Earl Spence's name right now. Um, Earl Spence could beat him. It's a good 50-50 fight in my opinion. Um, Brook is back sparring, back training. I'm back training on sparring. Um, I think he he can beat Pacquiao also. I think he puts Pacquiao in the coma for sure. Um, one of my boys said, you know, Pacquiao might give him a little. His movement might get him in trouble. But like I told him, that's not vintage Pacquiao movement anymore. And Brook uh, has the ability to assess, process. And act, you know, in the ring. He has a high IQ that I didn't know he had. Then you had Earl Spence, um, a straight walk you down type of fighter. Um, we haven't seen him box on the back foot. A lot of people don't know if he, he's too hittable, his chin. Um, you don't get that far in the amateurs not having those abilities. Um, I think he knocks out Pacquiao as well to the body, to the head. I think he's just too aggressive. He's naturally too big. This is a dude that might end up fighting at 160 one day. He can fight at 54 now and has mentioned Canelo name. Um, Danny Garcia who actually turned down the fight with Pacquiao um, to cement a fight with Thurman and well, he's fighting Vargas this weekend somebody who Earl Spence has already beat a dude that gets a lot of flack for cherry picking um, Danny Garcia I think this is uh, Pacquiao's best uh, opponent to win versus um, I think Al and Bob might make the fight happen with the Keith and Danny winner um, I know Al works closely with uh, Eddie Hearns and Carol Brook also, they made the Sean Porter fight. And him and Eddie Hearns and Mayweather are trying to do a boxing series over in the UK. But I think Pacquiao still at this point beats Garcia. But it wouldn't surprise me if Garcia did knock him out because he has that type of luck. But at the end of the day, I don't think Pac is in the top three uh, welterweight just off what I seen uh, Saturday. He looks a step slow. But I'm not hating it. Just, it's just my opinion. Maybe it's just a bad night. We don't.